universe what's up it's your girl Rondi 619 and i am in the process of going ahead and doing another wash and go so as you can see this my loves okay so yeah so as you can see this right here is a two day <laughs> wash and go using Now, I knew when I first tried these products, I was like, mm. and I've seen a lot of people give real rave reviews about this. This is the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In and Detangler. And this one is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I also bought this one. It was like a three. It was a it was a three set. Now, this actually is the only thing that I actually like out of the whole thing. Um, it's the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo. Um, but as you can see, as you can see, okay, this, this wasn't the business as far as wash and go goes. I had to twist these, and that's how I kind of got this right here. Um, but the rest, this is, this is it, okay? Mm -mm. So, I, I actually, I actually went to work like this, guys. Yes, I did. Well, I pinned it back a little bit, <laughs> um, because I couldn't even touch I couldn't even do anything to this. Like I would have to get all the way in the in the wash and completely saturate it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna completely saturate it. And this time though, I'm going to be using my maintain. I'm going to use my maintain. I got all these for um I got these in the set. I think you've seen them before. I did a wash and go on my little girls for for B hair. Um and I bought the repairing mask. This time I'm gonna do it on my hair though and see how it works out. Um, the curl defining cream. I'm gonna co-wash with this right now. It's a co-wash cleansing conditioner. And I'm gonna use this leave-in conditioner as well. Okay. And then I am going to pair it. Let me see, actually. Let's see if this plays well with Eco Styler Gel. Um, because I am all out of my wet line. So I'm going to see how the curl defining cream. Ooh. Get on out of here. Works. This is the curl defining cream. This is my eco gel. Let's see if they play. Oh, they don't play well together. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? Oh man. Okay. Well, um, back to the drawing board. Oh man. Um. Dang. Well, back to the drawing board. Okay, I'm going to try this one, the leave-in conditioner, and see if it plays well with Eco Styler. Jill? <sighs> no. Got some curdling here. It plays well better than the curling custard, but no, mm -mm. not that either. Okay, well, now I'm going to try this pro formula that I got from the Dollar Tree. I like this conditioner on my hair. Ooh, it was the bomb. I was like, ooh, it was the bomb. So let me see if I use this conditioner maybe as a little leave-in. You know, the same way we normally do, like with the VO5, you know, and see if that works. 
Let's see if it plays well. Now, I'm going to see just for the record right now, I'm going to do, I'm going to do VO5. Well, actually, I ain't, I might not do VO5 because it looks like, oh, I have another one. My son just been getting in the shower using up all my freaking conditioner and shampoo and soap. All my empty bottles of soap in there in the shower on the floor. I don't know what he be in there. He be in there doing too much with my stuff, though. All right, this is uh, VO5. This is what I normally use. Oh, wow, guys. Now, look at here. This is what I normally use, but I don't put leave that much conditioner in my hair. I just kind of lightly rinse it out a little bit and kind of leave some still in there. But look at that doesn't actually does not play well with Eco Styler either. Um, so this pro, this pro formula from Dollar Tree played better with the Eco Styler than VO5. So maybe that's what I'll use. So let me get in here. I am going to co-wash though. I'm going to go ahead and co-wash. I'm going to check and see how these do on my hair. Not the curl defining cream, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to co-wash with this co-wash conditioner and I'm going to... Um, use the repairing hair mask and then um, I don't know if I'm going to use this as a leave-in. A lot of times I prefer liquid spray leave-ins um, because they pair better with gels, any gel basically. Um, but I do want something that's thick underneath to coat my hair, especially because you guys did see that I am, um, you know, having to make sure that I'm repairing my hair and doing just better things in my hair right now to combat breakage so i want a nice coat of something that's going to be covering and coating and moisturizing my hair underneath all that gel okay so anywho let me get into it let's see let's do it i did cut some of this hair um the other day And I did a deep condition using my, um, what's it called? The two-step protein treatment with, by Apple So I did do that. And then I did um, cut my ends. This is my hair. You can see my hair. I'm not holding it back or doing nothing weird. So my last little piece is somewhere around here. Um, so yeah, let's just see. Let me get in here and do this. I'll tell you how these work. Okay. Okay. Y'all, I just have to get out the shower so I can show you guys what this freaking, uh, cleansing conditioner did. Now I put this on my hair and it started to lather almost like a shampoo, sound like a shampoo, but it's so thick in its consistency and rich, whatever it is doing. I mean, it really just got on my hair and it started, I could feel but my hair's definition just like whew, I could just feel my waves, y'all. I could just feel my waves. Now it says after you put this on there, go ahead and do a finger detangle um, and then follow up with the hair mask or. They have a different conditioner, but I don't have that one. I think it was a detangling conditioner, but... Okay. No, this one I'm focused because that freaking kinky curly knot today had a knot in the back of my daggone head. And I really ripped out some hair back there my hair was so dry like it did not it was not moisturized at all I'm like none of that so that that is a definite fail for me I do not believe that it actually is created for 
my hair type and texture. I think it's probably really good for looser hair types, um, like the creator herself, the kind of hair type she has, but definitely not doing nothing for, for this hair. Nothing at all. Not adding no kind of protection. No nothing. So, I will not be purchasing. And I'm glad because it's not it's not cheap. So, I'm glad it didn't work on my hair. So, anyway, yeah, let me get back in the shower. I just want to come and show you guys that this right here, this cleansing conditioner, is the truth. Okay? <sighs> Alright, you guys. I finished doing this freaking getting in there and doing this whole situation I said I was going to do. And I will tell you that I had the worst, the worst Time detangling my damn hair. Now I have been natural since I for 20 years, all right, and I have never had an experience like this when it comes to detangling my hair. Now, before I put that freaking kinky curly not today garbage on there, my hair was already thoroughly detangled. When I took my hair out and wash and go, it was still kind of wet, so you know it it dried kind of like as it was, which was real poofy and no real no definition at all, no none of that. So. I felt my hair was dry, which is why I didn't touch it or do anything to it before I was like, I'm just going to go wet my hair, it's going to relax it, and it's just going to, because I don't have anything in it, you know, except that custard, which is very light, and that leave-in conditioner. So, I get inside, now, I felt my hair dry when I got in the water, it felt even more dry. It felt, it was... <laughs> It was, I was just trying to detangle the back and I could feel my little piece of hair just like breaking because it was so detangled back there. It was so tangled back there in the back. So then I said, okay, let me go in here, um, co-wash. Co-wash clumped my hair together. It did clean my hair and it did moisturize my hair, but my hair on my end still felt terrible. So, um, I rinsed that out. So then I went in with the hair mask, repairing hair mask. It was very light in texture, so it did not offer, you know, a lot of coating or a lot of thickness or something that I felt like my hair was really getting nourished. That did not happen. And then it says for you to go in and start finger detangling or combing through. That was an X nay. That was a no no. That that was a no no. I, my hair was stuck together. It was not there was like no detangle and there was no slip there. Okay, so that's a no for me on the maintain uh, repairing hair mask. So then I had to go in with my Nexus, my revitaling um, conditioner, put on my ends. I really love that one. I'll show you guys that one another time. It's in the shower and exodus. It's in there. Um, I put that on my ends. It helped me be able to detangle a little bit more using my Tangle Teaser, but it still wasn't really doing too much. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just rinse all of this out and I'm going to go in um, and I'm going to use that formula that pro formula the one in the purple bottle that I showed you that was at that point was the only time I was able to detangle my hair properly with minimal breakage and you know what I'm saying just in, in minimal tangles or nothing like that like I was able to detangle my hair but I'm telling you I was in that freaking shower messing around with this freaking repair mask for the longest just pissed off because I knew that this was a result I don't know what the heck is in here um I don't know what's in here, but I just did not have the experience that everybody else be having with that kinky curly knot today. So I um, want to throw it in the trash. I might use it like on my kids or something, but just because I, I paid for it. But I just know that I will never use it again. So anywho, um, as far as the custard goes, the Pantene custard I really love. And also the... Um, the... Uh, Mayo pomegranate one um, or miel Mayo. Um, I really like that one. That but that Mayo combined with the cream did give me some flaking, and I did not like that. But I did like how the gel, the custard went on my hair. So I did. I like those two custards. Um, but enough about that. Let me so. That had me such up in arms. I was like, I'm just about to put twists in my hair because. I was going to do a whole deep condition, sit under my dryer and all of that, but it had me so faint, like I needed some electrolytes by the time I got done 
uh, I thought I was about to pass out in the shower. Like it, <sighs> like no, man. Like no, 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 no. So that 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 upset me. So, anyways, um, the Pro Formula or Formula Pro was the winner. So, right now, I, I said, okay, well, what am I going to put on my hair? So, I do have, this is about to be a mix-up of products. But, I think at this point, that's probably going to be what my hair needs, you know? Um... So what I did, so, okay, I have right here, I have this mane and tail detangler, and it also is a moisturizer, so I'm going to put that, I'm going to spray that on, kind of like a leave-in, okay, spray that on my hair, S says that it gives me wonderful slip, that's what it says, um, you know how sometimes you just buy product and you don't even remember or realize that you even have it? So that's, this is what I'm going to use to saturate my hair. And then the other day ago, I have bought some of this um, African Pride Shea Miracle. So this is the Bounty Curls Pudding. And I just paired this with some Eco Styler and mixed it together. And it was a cool blend. I didn't get no clumping or nothing weird like that. So now, so I did that. And I'm... I'm saturating this, making sure that I focus on my ends because I know that's where I need the most love. But after this wash and go, guys, I definitely am going to be going straight into just wearing some twists. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm really trying to just find the perfect twist combination, you know? And it's, I mean, wash and go combination. That's what I'm trying to do. Um... For my hair and my hair type, my hair texture. I always make sure that I go into my hair with lots of gel because my hair, you guys have seen my washing go before, needs lots of hold. It needs a thick gel and it needs lots of hold. So this is okay right here. I know that by the when I'm done after this dries or whatnot, or I put me a t-shirt back on my hair, I know that it's going to dry clear and I'm going to take I'm going to take this dimming brush and I'm also going to add more, uh-oh, oh. I'm going to add more gel on the end and I'm going to ring this around the end of my fingers. See, my hair is already still puffing up, so gel, gel, gel. Gel. And this time, I'm not shingling this time um, because... I don't really like them tiny, tiny little curls. I feel like a noodle head, you know? I don't like that too much, so. I kind of want to get a little bit of a bigger clump on my hair.
right? So when I get done with this, I'll come back and I'll show you the end results, all right? See, I just changed my mind. I am going to shingle, but I'm going to shingle with um, chunky pieces. And then I'm going to ravel it around my finger so that I can get a cute little um, curl on the end. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then hopefully this too will give me um, maybe less frizz maybe. to say too because I forgot to mention this the last time. You know how sometimes you know you be in there and you be detangling your hair or you know you put a product on there and you feel like that product has been so disrespectful to your hair that you feel like you don't that you feel like you don't got out your out the shower after detangling your hair and you ain't got but like two strands on your head where you, you get out the shower and you feel bald headed. You know what I'm saying? That's how this experience was for me on today. I just oh my goodness like I can't even believe like, whew. I'm a, let me. Okay, hi everybody. So today here is one day hair. I've already went to work. I had it tied up because I was taking a nap. But let's check this wash and go out. Um, in my roots right now, it's been. I did this last night. It's been. What time did I do this last night? I did this last night at about. 7, 7 30, 8 o'clock or something like that. Um, went to sleep, woke up, went to work. Right now it's about 6 30 p.m. Yeah, the other one I did at about 7 38 p.m. Um, let's check for this definition. This is larger chunks. This is my curl pattern. Not really a curl pattern, right? A wave pattern. So, I have to use loads and loads of product to make my hair clump like that. Um, loads of gel. If not, I'll get, it will like frizz out like that, like fluff out like that so if I use a lot this is even beautiful definition up here in my roots but <clears throat> I cut off some of those ugly scraggly colored ends last night so I did get a little bit more of a shape up in this area which was kind of cool um I actually really do like this one you can see how the back here is kind of fluffed out that's just how my hair typically does with a wash and go but i still think that this one with the chunkier shingles is bomb so yes i'm going to um i'm probably gonna have to go and repurchase some um powdered vitamin C or crystal vitamin C and I'm going to start doing a new MSM and vitamin C regimen um, and see how that works for my hair growth and I'm also going to get back on doing my deep conditioning with heat because um, I haven't done that in a very long time and last night washing that kinky curly mess out my hair um I realize that I've got to do that. So, anyways, I hope you guys like my first day here. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to come to you tomorrow and show you, well, second day here. And then third day here. And then fourth day here. And then fifth day here. And see how long this lasts. Okay? This is probably one of my best ones yet. Yep. 
One of my best ones.